<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're a happy camper now. What you see is the bracket in place, and it went right in place. However, these are the tools necessary to get it in place. Because the bucket has been twisted and racked, not everything lined up. And when I built, rebuilt this throw or linkage, I built it perfectly straight with the pins parallel to one another. So, because it was racked, I had to do a few things. I added some shim stock that I made out of some just sheet steel. And I used some wedges and some blocks of wood. And this I used to drive the pin through. We have the man hammer, which sometimes the pin becomes difficult and you have to persuade it. This is the baby hammer. And this video is for the owner who is also a member of my Patreon account. And some miscellaneous tools. <clears throat> and now we're at the final stages of this job. And what I want to show you is what an automatic grease gun looks like. So, this is an air operated grease gun. So this video is basically to show you how an automatic grease gun works. So it it works by, by air pressure. And you just pull a trigger and it shoots a predetermined amount of grease into the into the through the fitting into the zerk. The zerk is inside here. So I'm going to show you how it works and how convenient it is. But I want to tell you beforehand <clears throat> how to keep this tool working. This tool's about seven years old. Now this fitting is weak. You can't buy this. See this fitting? Cannot buy this fitting in the stores that sell the hoses with that fitting in the Philippines. Now this is from, I think it's a Napa gun. Pretty sure it's Napa. It's about seven years old. If you get any sand into this fitting and pull that trigger, there's a plunger in there and the sand will just etch a hole in the plunger will become useless. Now I already have well over two inches of grease of the grease gun in here. So I'll just show you how simple this, this makes it. Now watch this vice grip at the same time watch the listen to the gun. Okay, now I only put the vice grip on there so you can see the progress of the of the grease going into the zerk. Now, being that I didn't hold this fitting on the zerk perfectly square, a small amount leaked out. So we're going to correct that now. Okay, and I'll show you once again now look at with the position of the handle here okay now make this makes it a lot easier small amount is coming there what we're looking for is grease coming out around this fit and you can see this moves each time you hear a one shot now you can count how many shots it is you could go, could be 20 shots to fill up a small cylinder. Bearing housing could be 100 to fill up. Okay, you see the water leaking out of there? It was. Okay, there's the grease. Now there's a chamber in here, hollow chamber between the bearings. Now it's full. And a small amount of grease leaked on the outside we're going to wipe that with a piece of paper like this wipe that and we're going to put it over here just on top then when the when it moves around some of the grease will go in and 
some of it won't. Then the next step is to grease this one up on top. Now another thing I did when I rebuilt this is that both zerks were missing out of the pins. There's a zerk inside this 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 re re reveal or reset. Okay, there's a zerk there. They were both missing. Vibration, a rock went in there, a tree limb went in there, broke it off. One was broke off, but it was easy to top out, and the other one was just missing. So now we're gonna take this off of here. Sometimes it's not so easy. Hold on. That's, sometimes they get stuck. And we're gonna put it in here, okay? And then we're gonna finish. The upper chamber should only take about maximum 30, 30 compressions. And you could use this one shot at a time or just hold it on. So I'm gonna hold it on and we're gonna look for grease to come out of here. Sometimes if it's wet, water will come out first. That's about 25, I guess. I just, I'm not, uh, here's the grease. Okay, here's the grease. Okay, so here's where the grease came out. And just take that off with your finger and put it on top over here. Just shove it into the hole. That's about, that's, that was about 30 shots because that's a small fitting, but it was clean when I put it back together. This one had some in. This one takes about 70 to 80 or sometimes 90 if it's empty when you're rebuilding something like this. Some of the, depends on the size of the machine and the cavity where the grease goes. Now this, this project, this throw that I built for the linkage, this is a success story. I already picked up the bucket and swung it and you can see everything fits inside the uh, parameters. This doesn't have to fit anywhere because there's plenty of room back here. There's, there's full two inches of play. Plus this is a stop which means it won't go that far anyway. So this is Mike Fazio, Daisy Mace Inside making videos. Thanks for watching my videos and remember this is this tool. This is how an air, air actuated grease gun works. Now the price of an air actuated grease gun ranges from about $120 to $185. This was, a, I bought this seven years ago. I think I paid $80 for it, but they went up to 120 shortly after that. Why the jump, I don't know, but they did. So it's a Napa gun. And as long as you don't get dirt into that air fitting, it'll work just fine. It's seven years old and I've been using it, you know, a couple of times a year, 25, 30 times a year. I put about, and the way you fill this up is you unscrew this, pull the plunger back, and you unscrew this chamber here, and you pull this plunger back. It's got a lock at the end of the, at the end of the rod. There's a lock. In, on the rod and then you fill this you take this cavity this chamber out and you fill it with grease with a very long flat putty knife or some sort of knife you take this end cap off first then you take this off the grease gun and you fill this chamber solid you leave about one inch of space over here put the cap back on screw it on and then screw this on Make sure that the notch doesn't pop out of place or all the grease will just shoot out of the chamber in like a third of a second. It happens. Okay, so this is my Fazio in, I was going to say the Florida Keys. Imagine that. 
in, in the Philippines, baby. We had a typhoon last night. It blew, it destroyed my fence. It blew that fence. The front fence got a little bit destroyed. But my tarpaulin that I paid a thousand pesos for, that was a year, maybe a year and a half old, it just, it just destroyed it. Just destroyed it. I'm not, huh. I'm gonna spend four, four hours to replace that, maybe five, another thousand pesos for the tarpaulin. Another 35 minutes to go get the, to, to get the nails and the hammer, put the board up, and then I gotta walk around to another lot, to, to a couple of different lots. Ah, thank you. Thanks for watching my videos and God day to everybody from Michael Fazio in the Philippines, baby. That's right.